Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to add depth to your photo. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Germany. I'm a French photographer in the beautiful city of Paris, France. And in this video, I want to show you how you can add color depths playing with haze in a photo. Don't forget to download the source files and also my photography toolbox. Now, my photography toolbox is amazing presets, texture, sky, and brushes that you can use in your photo. It's all free. All you have to do is either click the little info button up there or the link below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the little subscribe button and the little bell to get a notification every time a video comes out. All right, let's go to Paris and let me show you how you can add depth to your photo. And in this episode, I want to show you a photo shoot I did a couple of days ago in Paris where I did something special to get more depth into my photo, a special drama secret that I want to reveal to you right now. All right, guys, so I just want to talk to you about this photo because you know, I get a lot of photos every day where photographers send me their photos. And I think there's one uh, misconception or a mistake that I see a lot where people is trying to get drama everywhere on their photo. And this photo actually did really well on social media. And I wanted to share with you a few secrets about this photo. First of all, of course, the composition. You know, whenever I, I got up very early up in the morning and I, I see this, you know, amazing sunrise in Paris. And I was looking, what could I put in the foreground of my photo? And I found these two lamps, you know. And then so I had the sun in the middle. And then, you know, I took a few shots until I got that one bird. And I thought that was a great, you know, a good composition. So let me reset it and, and show you how I did. That's the original RAW file without any retouching. And there's a few tricks to it. Uh, but the main trick is this. So first, you know, if you follow my tutorial, you've seen me do this over and over. I'm going to open up the shadows. I'm going to do, you know, my white point, usually hold on the, holding the option key. I don't want to burn anything. I don't care about the sun if it's burned because it's anyway already way burned. Then I'm going to do my black point. Uh, you know, I usually want two or 3% of the photo to be really pure dark. And then what? And then this is this. so the overall photo. Like once I'm done with all that, it's kind of like too, yeah, it's, it's too dark. So what I usually do is I brighten up the whole thing, and then I'm gonna take here this uh, linear gradient, okay? And I'm going to go to uh, well exposure. When you when you take any of these settings, like let's say I would take shadows or I would take you know exposure, what it does, and it's always a safety. It puts everything at zero except the, the one option you took. So I'm going to go just a little minus exposure here. Okay. And then I'm going to go like this. Now, the problem with that is that it's, um, it's okay. It's good, but it's, it's making everything darker. What I want to do is I want to make a more contrast between the full round that's, that I want it to be really sharp and the background that I want it to be more diffused, you know, because if you have, if everything is super sharp, is super contrasty in your entire photo, you don't have depth. You don't have the notion of what's further away, what's close to you. Usually what is further away is, uh, you know, is more blurry, more fuzzy. So what I'm going to do is on top of darking it, I'm going to use a dehaze. Usually dehaze gets used to go to the right to add drama. I'm going to go the reverse. Okay, I'm going to dehaze a lot. But the problem now is that the dehaze is all over my lamps here. But if you don't have the new Lightroom CC, check this out. If you go to Range Mask and you go to Luminance and you click here, you can hold down the Option key. And that's going to create a mask. The way Max works in Photoshop, in Lightroom and everywhere else, in any software, anywhere, is that black conceals, white reveals. So you see how the lamps are becoming black. What's going to happen is that the fuzziness, uh, the haze is only going to go behind the lamps. Okay? So check it out. Before after okay it it took you know it took some of the drama off the sky i i agree but i want it I, it's especially for the buildings i want the buildings to be really hazy okay now i can always add a new uh gradient and this time i'm going to go to uh contrast or i'm going to go to exposure and i'm going to lower the exposure uh just to close the photo and maybe go the other way around and and, and dehaze a little bit just the top of the photo so we still get some clouds but uh, what i'm really trying to do here is i really want uh you know this building to be less clear than this one now for this to work i have to create another gradient which is what i'm going to do 
And this time I'm going to go to exposure and I'm going to just this time do the opposite. I'm going to bring, I'm going to do dehaze the other way. So now I have, uh, and maybe, you know, maybe not make it so dark. So now I've got a uh, full realm that's, you know, very uh, sort of dark and the rest is hazy. Now I I'm lacking colors in this photo, obviously. So I'm going to add a lot of vibrance. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of saturation. I'm going to add some magenta because that's what I that's what I do for living. I add magenta and it's already warming up. But you see how fuzzy, uh, you know, the, the building is and how sharp that is. You see fuzzy, sharp. That's going to give dimension to your photo. It's going to make it more interesting. OK, I think I'm going to boost even more. Uh, the overall photo, add some contrast. And now, you know, I just find two things like, for example, I find that it's too blue here. So what I usually do when some colors are not good, I, I go down here to the use saturation and luminance and I take this little tool here on saturation and I click here and what it's going to do is detect whatever color is there and I'm going to lower this. You see, it makes the purple and the magenta a bit darker, a, a bit lower. Then I'm going to click here and maybe go the other opposite. It's going to be orange, go a little bit brighter, something like this just to correct it. I think uh, I'm going to add even more. In the original version, I added a little more saturation. Okay, maybe warm it up a little tiny bit to take out some of the blue. And yeah, something that just kills some of the blue. You know, I really wanted this sunrise kind of feeling, you know. So, I'm going to create a virtual copy here. Because, uh, you know, I always like to create a virtual copy. And usually I would do sharpening or, or, or other things. And uh, I'm just going to reset it. I, I'm using the virtual. So, that's the before. And, and that's the after, you know, it's quite a change. It's quite a change. And I think on this one, I'm going to add even more yellow because there's too much blue. Yeah. To make it shine even more, you know? So, you know, I lost some details in the sky, but that's fine. You don't always have to have like these crazy skies, you know, with a lot of contrast. Sometimes it's kind of, kind of nice to have a hazy as long as, you know, play around with contrast. Now we have a contrast between, you know, let me show this to you in full screen between what's hazy and what's not hazy. And that's gonna give a lot of dimension to your photo. I hope this trick is gonna help you. I'm gonna give you this file. Uh, if you cannot fly over to Paris on the sunrise, you know, and take a photo by yourself, I'm gonna use this file to play around with so you can see what I mean. Uh, all you have to do is click the link under this video. And voila, I will see you in another video, mesdames and messieurs. Hope you like this. All right, guys, I got something really cool to show you. I got a new app on my watch. Check this out. Hey, guys. It's so funny, it feels so weird to be so small in Paris. I gotta watch out for the rats. Let me know if you wanna learn anything, you know, on photography, on photography techniques, on Photoshop, on Lightroom, anything you wanna do, I'll try to do my best to fulfill your wishes. But now, let me show you something. Yes, it feels good to be bigger. Now guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is click here and you gotta click that little bell so you get a notification every time a free video comes out. Now, I'm going to explore Paris as Altman. Wow, guys, this is so cool. Everything seems so big. Okay, I'll see you in another video. I'm going to explore Paris. Bye-bye.